gear this is perp back with another video and i just got done listening to lil uzi's new album eternal a take now this is a very highly anticipated album people have been waiting for this for a couple years now and it's finally here but before i get into the review hit that like button hit that subscribe button and also follow me on twitter at perp 420 yeah man so is this album worth the wait was it worth the you know all the controversy that was going behind this album let's find out shall we let's start with the track list and the cover art now you know we've been waiting you know uzi fans you know i'm a fan of uzi i've always liked his music he's always been creative to me um he's always kind of done things outside the box you know he's not everybody's cup of tea but i i kind of respect him for just being versatile now we have 19 tracks which is completely fine with me i don't think this album feels drugged out or nothing because he usually stays under 20 um it's been what three years since his last album love is rage 2 which I really enjoyed that album and I still listen to that um, to this day. So that tells you something about that album. Um, interesting about the cover art is he had people on Twitter take a poll and kind of vote on three different album covers. And everybody pretty much went with this one that you see on the right. And I feel like it makes sense for the, what the album is and whatnot. So let's go through some of the songs you know you're gonna see some of my favorite songs and you know um i really like the sound on this it's very vintage uzi he kind of just takes certain sounds to a different level you know he just really is all about experimenting and i liked how he just set it off with baby pluto it's just very up tempo you know things that you could just bump in the whip um he also has things that are very pop-esque um even it even surprised me when he put out the single that way when he sampled backstreet boys and you know i know that's not gonna be everybody's favorite song but i think it's smart that he used photon shuffle and that way as bonus tracks and now you got all original tracks that nobody's heard before maybe people have heard these songs before because you know a lot of Uzi songs get leaked and whatnot, but these are fresh to me. I, I like the sound. I love where he's going with his sound, and I want to hear more from Uzi. You know, out of the new generation, you know, he definitely is very unique in what he brings to the table, how he harmonizes, how he just picks his beats you know the beats on here are really really good like the production is really really good i don't think anybody will be disappointed in that if i had to pick one song to be like my favorite so far is i'm sorry because i just love how it just goes off on that and just it just completely sounds different from anything we've heard from uzi there's some definitely familiar sounds but you know he he sticks to what he knows and what he's good at and i think it works for this album now i know this won't be a lot of people's cup of tea obviously but you know i'm i'm cool with it i think a lot of fans of uzi will enjoy this album all the way through you know um even the, la uh, the last song on here p2 you know he it this is pretty much like uh exo tour life part two it sounds just like it you know um overall really solid project what do you guys think in the comments below was the wait worth it was this a solid project do you think this was complete trash let me know especially the uh the uzi fans and you know if this is your first time ever listening to an uzi project let me know um, but yeah, that's all I have to say in this review. I fuck with it. How about you? But until my next review, I will see y'all later. Peace. When are we gonna understand that we are put on earth to love? That's all it's about. Everybody want to figure out how complicated life is and, and break it down. This is what I truly think. 
Simplest word, love. 